traveling to Ann Arbor to take on the Michigan Wolverines in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, Virginia Tech faced its toughest game of the non-conference slate, and the Hokies battling back from down 15 points in the second half came out on top for an improbable win, taking a huge victory uh, in the ACC Big Ten Challenge by a score of 73 to 70. And really, uh, for much of the game, the Hokies were outplayed, but played just well enough to give themselves a shot at the end. Michigan was up by nine at the end of the first half. They should have been up by more. Uh, you know, they were shooting very well early on. Virginia Tech was not focused enough defensively. Uh, however, Seth Allen stepped up in a huge way, scoring the go-ahead layup with under two minutes to play, then putting Virginia Tech in terrific position to close it out by nailing a three-pointer to give Virginia Tech a four-point lead. So, look, this was a game that I really thought Michigan was going to take. I was very pleasantly surprised uh, by the Hokies. You know, there's so many talented players on this Michigan team. The Wolverines are not a top 25 team yet. I mean, they fell out, I should say. But I do believe they are one of the best teams in college basketball, and they will be back in the rankings soon. Zach Irvin played a terrific game uh, for the Wolverines. He had 23 points, uh, nailed three trays, and went 10 of 20 uh, from the field. Over, uh, you know, the guy who really kept the Hokies alive was, surprise, surprise, Zach Lede with his 18 hard-fought points per usual, going 8 of 9 from the free throw line and pulling down 6 rebounds along with a steal and a block. So look, stat sheet stuffer as usual, the heart and soul of this team, just a guy who refuses to quit and refuses to let his teammates quit, more importantly. So major, major credit to Zach Lede. Justin Robinson and Justin Bibbs played important supporting roles as well. They both went 4 of 4 from the charity stripe. And, uh, you know, Bibbs had 10 points, Robinson had 11. Ultimately, I think you could say this game came down to free throw shooting. You know, when uh, Michigan goes only 4 of 7 from the line, not enough shots from the line, not enough makes, that's uh, just over 50%. Meanwhile, the Hokies shooting over 90% from the line, 19 of 21. 19 of 21 is a great omen moving forward, especially to do it on the road in a hostile atmosphere. And Michigan, it was a surprise to see them not shoot that, shoot that well from the free throw line because they headed into the game third in the country in free throw shooting at over 80%. So, you know, uh, for Ahmed Hill, you know, it was a disappointing night for him. A couple of the fouls that were called against him were questionable. Uh, but he made some bad uh, offensive fouls as well. It just felt like there were just tons and tons of offensive fouls being called against Hill. I thought the second one in particular called against him was some serious home cooking in Michigan's favor. But nevertheless, it was definitely uh, an off night from Hill. I'm sure he will learn from it and he will bounce back. He is too talented to let this really affect him moving forward. But, uh, you know, also a major credit to Kadeem C. The freshman got it done on the road. He went four or five from the field and uh, pulled in uh, four rebounds. He was also able to avoid foul trouble. So credit to him there. But, uh, you know, this was just uh, a hard-fought victory for Virginia Tech. There was no real major uh, run where they just scored, you know, 12 points without being answered. They just clawed back into the game slowly but surely. And as you... Uh, you know, headed down the home stretch, you could kind of tell this game somehow, some way was going to come down the wire. So to see Seth Allen take it over uh, the way he did, you know, his mental error aside, was uh, very refreshing. And this is massive. This is a massive win for Virginia Tech. You don't say that often about November wins, but you're talking about the team that has the uh, wide, widely regarded to be the worst uh, non-conference strength of schedule. So to beat their toughest non-conference opponent and to do it on the road, uh, is huge because it is probably going to be the only resume win Virginia Tech picks up on its non-conference schedule. And so it's a major momentum booster as well. So I can't wait to see how the Hokies build on this. 
it is an absolutely crucial victory and a uh, major, major hokey, hokey victory. So for those who have passed and for those to come, reach for excellence.